Hello viewers, welcome to our Juso palette. This is the second video on tie and dye technique. I've already introduced one pattern to you using cotton fabric. I'm using the same color of fabric here, but you'll be learning a new pattern using a new color dye. You need a pair of scissors, some powdered dye, some thread, a tongue, some salt and of course a pair of gloves. While we'll be tying the fabric, folding and tying the fabric, I've put a pot of water to boil and it's approximately a liter of water. It's not necessary that you always take a liter of water. What you can do is that you look how much fabric you're using. The fabric should be soaked properly in the water. So it depends how much water you're taking according to the fabric you're using. Then I have a container of normal temperature water. Now let's start. This is the fabric and I'll repeat again. Then if you're going to do tie and dye on cotton, always unstarch your fabric. This is the size of the fabric and today the folds will be different. Sometimes it depends on the way you're folding that you need extra hands. Today I don't need anyone for the folding. So let's see. It's better that you put some crease using ironing your piece of cloth. It's better that you put a crease then it will be easier for you to fold the paper. And if you are fond of origami, look. Now I'll be using thread. Well, if you're fond of origami, you'll make beautiful patterns. Now using the thread, I'm going to tie it. And try to tie it tightly. Now I'll tie a knot here and I'll use more thread for the other part. Viewers, the pattern depends on how you fold the fabric. That's the secret of beautiful tie and dye, the pattern. It's the way how you fold it. The better your fold is, the best result you're going to get. So I've tied another knot here. There you go. Now this is the piece we are going to put in the boiling dye. Viewers, the water has come to boil and here's the salt I'll be using one full teaspoon the water is boiling and here goes the salt now I'll tell you something very interesting sometimes in powdered dyes it's difficult to know what dye you have bought until you put it in the water and you don't want to waste it so what you do is when you're dyeing and from here you bought it, he tells you that this is this color. I've used a spoonful. 
now to know the exact color the exact tone you have used what you can do is you take a piece of thread or a small cloth if you have any and you dip it in the water and you know what color you're using so here i have yellow so now you know that when you dip a white thread in the water you will know in the dye that this is the tone you will be getting now here i'm using yellow fabric so obviously i won't use yellow so in this video i'm telling you that if to get the desired tone of a color you can mix powder dyes i'm using red here a small teaspoon of red dye and i have mixed it here so if you're an art student you should know that yellow and red mix orange now i'll dip the other part of the thread in the dye and we'll see what tone we are getting look it's orange now this is the color perfect to dye for the yellow fabric so i'll be using this piece the tied piece in the boiling dye leave it for two minutes here's two to three minutes have passed and we will take out our piece of fabric using a tong and we will put it in this container with water with normal temperature this is the piece and it seems that it's only orange the purpose to dip it in this cold water is to remove all the extra dye in it it's a bit hot but i have used cold water and i'll squeeze it a little leave it for a while welcome back and we are about to untie our fabric there's still some steam coming out so let's cut carefully i hope you'll have fun looking at the pattern we have So it's a different pattern if you remember the last pattern it's it gives you a different design here hope you like it see you with another video on virtues of palette bye